Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is no more. The crazy challenge that you guys are about to witness is about to happen right now. What's good everybody, Darkool here, back at it again with another video. Now, judging from the title, the thumbnail, everything that has to do with this video, bro. If you guys saw my Instagram, I put a little snippet of this video of what's to come for today's video. Now, I went to the store, right? I went to two different targets to complete this video. And I bought out every single Pokemon ETB of Team Up that they had you feel me and we are about to open up every single one of those etbs in this video we got a total of 10 etbs that i got between two stores which is a total of 80 booster packs my jaw hurts for some reason but anyways guys let me go ahead and show you all of the packs of team up now if you guys do want to support the videos because like i said these videos are not sponsored or anything along those lines so if you guys want to support the channel and the videos that i make all you got to do is smash that like button right now because that's going to show me that you guys are interested in the channel and want to support and then here is the third stack but also if you guys subscribe and join the ghoul army and welcome then that is another way of supporting as well and you guys could be featured in a video like the individuals that you see on the screen all you gotta do is leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army enough blabbering guys i showed you all the packs i showed y'all what is going down now before we get into the video in specific in case you guys don't know what comes in a pokemon elite trainer box let me go ahead and show you what's inside all right guys so for your typical pokemon elite trainer box it comes in a box like so it has a cover on the front which you can actually turn into a poster if you guys take off the glue which is located right there as you guys can see it will make into a pretty cool looking poster to put on your wall next up an etb comes with a little booklet which shows you tips and tricks of the pokemon tcg on how to use the brand new cards and it also contains a checklist of the set itself showing you all the cards that are within the set and now you guys already know we are after all of these goodies right here full art secret rares trainers all of that good stuff and then finally you guys get you know your typical insides of an etb now those are a pack of sleeves a pack of energies a pack of dividers in case you guys want to use the etb box as storage it comes with dice for the tcg and then it comes with a tag team gx marker now that is basically everything that you guys get in an etb as well as eight booster packs and one code card for the online tcg as you guys can see right there but we're gonna go ahead and give those out during the video and then obviously we're gonna open up the packs during the video said ladies and gentlemen no more further delays i do have some snacks for myself i got a protein bar right here and then i got my drink because i do drink body armor because it's delicious it's good for you so why not drink it but those are the snacks for the video and now we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this opening because it is definitely going to be a long video it is 80 booster packs ladies and gentlemen 80 booster packs so before we continue opening up these packs let me know in the comments right now before you watch this video bro in the comments right now 
let me know how many ultra rares are we going to get in this video out of 80 booster packs how many do you think we are gonna pull in my opinion and in my guess i think we are gonna get a total of 15 ultra rares out of 80 booster packs maybe more i might i should have guessed 20 honestly but i'm gonna go ahead and go with 15 let me know your guesses in the comments down below prisms count basically anything more rare than a prism star counts you feel me and i'm over here throwing the cards left and right but like i said prisms gx's full art trainers all of that good stuff now the playable cards that are expensive those do not count but you know those count for the recap and whatnot but since we are doing a massive pokemon card opening i will be putting the values of the cards that i pull while we pull them just so we ooh, ooh, we got that zard reverse baby already starting off with something very very amazing y'all already know that these reverse cards are much more harder to pull than your typical holographic you feel me but we're gonna go ahead and put the homie in a penny sleeve or a perfect fit sleeve and we gonna move on you feel me but hold up i almost forgot the star of the show so we got charizard as the star of the show for now and i forgot what i was talking about before i got interrupted by that charizard but it's all good we're just gonna go ahead and keep it rolling because we got a lot of packs to open up and who knows i might remember as we open up more packs randomly because that kind of tends to happen with your boy but so far we are on a green code streak hopefully that changes because with etbs the pools are completely random bro completely random i don't know if i'm gonna get something you know all of these etbs might be duds or they might be all super amazing who knows no one will ever know because it is completely random but we do got a white coat in this booster pack let's see what the first banger of this video is going to be everybody we got the buff padding and then we got the latios and ladia secret rare starting things off with a banger y'all already know what it is bro not counting that charizard this is our first official banger to start off this video let's go ahead and put it as the star of the show y'all already know that card is beautiful that card deserves all the love and respect that it can get and that card right there it does not get all the love and respect it deserves for one reason it's not crazy playable and when pokemon cards are not super playable you know minus charizard cards and whatnot they don't really get the love and respect because they're not worth much you feel me pokemon cards that are not worth much they don't get much love unless a person specifically loves that card you feel me so let's go ahead and keep it rolling and we are already going to open up all of these packs quickly and not take too much time on basically opening up these packs because like i said we got a lot of packs to open up so i am not going to be doing the pack trick in any of these packs and in case you're wondering why i'm looking at the bulk i'm just trying to keep a lookout to see if i don't skip any jirachis because jirachi is a very very expensive pokemon card at the moment and if you guys pull any jirachis from the team up set just know that you got yourself a card that is basically worth more than 15 dollars by itself you feel me that is more than a bunch of ultra rares fool arts that are out there already so let's go ahead and open up this next pack right here we got the titar hala graphic i should have done the pack trick on white codes but for some reason i just went ahead and opened up that pack quickly but it's all good it is all good and in case you guys are wondering when am i gonna give out the etb codes i'm just gonna give it out randomly throughout the video so just make sure you keep on watching and you might be able to get an etb code of team up so let's go ahead and just keep it rolling because like i said i'm trying to finish up this video asap bro i don't want to make it too long i don't want to make it longer than one hour but here is the first code of the team up etb we still got nine left so do not worry if you did not get that first one so here is the next code it is white should i do the pack trick for Y codes or should i keep it rolling because we still got this much for the third stack and then we still got two big old stacks after the third one you feel me so we're gonna go ahead and just keep it rolling first and then in the next crazy challenge 
I'll let you guys know or ask you guys if you want me to do the pack trick on white codes or you just want me to do like a quick little speed opening on every single booster pack and whatnot. Now the good part about these massive Pokemon card openings is I get a lot of basically bulk, you feel me? And I can trade in that bulk for booster boxes and then I can do some more crazy, crazy challenges, bro. So it's like a win-win situation altogether, man. So here is the next code card right here. Can we get something? Oh, baby, we got the Hoopa GX, everybody. Check that out. I'm pretty sure that's called the Unbound form. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm honestly not too sure on that. But that is definitely not taking down Latios and Latias GX because it's a secret rare, bro. And that Hoopa GX, uh, it's basically not worth much and it's kind of easy to pull. Let's be honest here. But let's go ahead and just continue this stack because we got three stacks to go through and we're still like basically halfway done with this third stack right here so let's go ahead and just see what we get we got a zapdos very very nice right there in case you guys did not know this zapdos is actually very very playable and it is actually worth a good amount of money so like i said for anything that is basically worth a dollar on these pools, like even if it's a holographic or a reverse that's very playable and worth money, I will be putting the value on the screen just so you guys know what to look out for when you're opening up this set. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I had to take a quick drink break because I was getting so parched, you know, just opening up so many booster packs is such a freaking chore, but it's a good chore, you feel me? It's a good feeling, it's not a bad feeling. But it does get tiring when you open up a bunch of booster packs over and over and over and over. That's why I took a little break from these crazy challenges. But we did get the Eevee and Snorlax G freaking X. Because I forgot what month we were doing like so many challenges. It might have been January or it might have been December. But we were doing like a bunch of crazy mass openings and it was getting tiring. And your boy, I just had to take a break from those mass openings because like I said, it's a lot of work. It gets tiring. And then you kind of get this feeling that you don't want to open up any more Pokemon cards. But... Like I said, I took a break from doing those mass openings and we are back to doing these crazy Pokemon card challenges and I am so freaking pumped. So we got Dana, Dana, I'm pretty sure it's Dana, but then we got the Incineroar. GX everybody, the Incineroar. G freaking X. And I did eat before this opening already, so like I said, I just got that protein bar just for a little snack, but I already ate and beforehand just so i don't get hungry during this video because it is going to be a while until we open up all of these packs but this is the last pack of the first stack third stack whatever you guys want to call it i call it third stack because we have three stacks and this is basically i guess i should have just called it first stack but anyways guys that is not the point we're gonna go ahead we got a bisharp regular rare so that's the first stack, everybody, and I'm kind of surprised that we got way more holographics and green codes than actual ultra rare. So my 15 ultra rare guess, it might be spot on, you feel me? It might be spot on. I was going to say 30 ultra rares, but that's kind of a push, you feel me? So then we got the Lord Helix, everybody. Look at this Lord Helix. It is so freaking beautiful, bro. It is so freaking beautiful. If you guys ever pull a Lord Helix, tag me, take a picture of it, post it on Instagram, and tag your boy at X because I want to see them Lord Helix cards. If you guys have any special or crazy Lord Helix cards, show me them because I want to see them. But let's go ahead and continue the opening, y'all. And every time I see a white coat, I'm telling you, every time I see a white coat, I get so freaking happy. I don't know, the feeling of getting white codes in Pokemon booster packs is so amazing. But we got the Ampharos. Full freaking R, baby. Look at that. That is beautiful. The yellow background on full arts. It kind of looks very, very cool. I'm not going to lie. We got that Ampharos full freaking art. 
That is so freaking beautiful. One of my favorite Pokemon from the Johto region. And I remember every time I play, you know, gold, silver, crystal, whatever the case may be, I always, always, 100%, everybody, I put that Ampharos GX on my team every single time. You want to know why I do that? It's because that Pokemon is absolutely amazing. If you guys are an Ampharos fan, you're amazing as well. But we got something else, baby. We got that Mr. Mime GX. And someone in the comments actually put a comment on this card. Hashtag make Mr. Mime great again. That, that was gold. That was honestly gold. I forgot who said that, but if you're watching this video, I still remember your comment and I still thought about you when I pulled that Mr. Mime. But that is actually a true fact, bro. We got to make this Mr. Mime great again because there's two versions of this Mr. Mime and the only difference is the ability. One focuses on even numbers and the other one focuses on odd numbers. And this card is worth like $1.50, you know, somewhere along those lines. But I feel like it's going to do very good in a tournament and the prices are going to spike because I feel like that card has potential, bro. It, I just feel it in my gut, in my mind, in my heart. That card has potential, bro. But like I said, if it does happen to rise in price randomly, let your boy know. But we got the Aegislash Holographic. I just butchered that name for some reason. And I just butchered that whole sentence for some reason. But I don't know, bro. It is like 4 p.m. right now as I'm recording this. And then I got to do the editing, the uploading. So I'm probably going to end up finishing very late at night because y'all already know that i put a lot of time and effort in my editing you know to provide really good content for you guys and that's just something i really enjoy doing for y'all so here is the next code which was white let's see y'all let's see we got another tag team finally oh my god finally this is my first Gengar in Mimikyu Tag Team GX, bro. I'm pretty sure this is my first one. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. But we got the Gengar in Mimikyu GX. That is beautiful right there. That is honestly beautiful. But so far, nothing has taken down the Latias and Latios Secret Rare. Like, honestly, if we do get a Jirachi Hollow, it's going to take down the Secret Rare, hands freaking down. And the reason why Jirachi will take down Latios and Latios is because Jirachi is worth way too much money right now, bro. So if you guys are running a Jirachi deck, oh, baby, <laughs> hold up, forget the thought that I was about to say, because we got something gold, ladies and gentlemen, we got something gold. Let's do the pack trick, everybody. Let's do four to the front, and let's see what we get, guys. I'm going to go ahead and run through this quick, but I had to save the best card for last. We got the Neat Arena, and then we got the Dangerous Drill. Secret Rare, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful. Check that out. Dangerous Drill, Secret Rare. You can play this card only if you discard a dark Pokemon from your hand. Discard a Pokemon tool or special energy card from one of your opponent's Pokemon or discard any stadium card in play. Does it take down Latias and Latios though? I honestly don't think it does because I don't really see that card being crazy playable. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like I feel like that dangerous drill is probably worth less than the Latias and Latios if I keep it 100 with y'all. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep it rolling as is and... If we get another Secret Rare, I'll just go ahead and remove the Latias and Latios from the card stand because they have been on there for way too long. And if we get another Secret Rare, let's let the other Secret Rare get some shine. Does that even make sense? Let's let or let's have... I don't even know how to say that, bro. Does that make sense using let's twice? Bro, just stay in school, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. I know I always tell you guys to stay in school but i mean it bro stay in school so let's go ahead and open up this next pack which was a white code we got another articuno i pull so many of these articunos it's not even funny bro but let me go ahead and give you guys another etb code or several etb codes for this stage right here because 
we're probably like more than halfway in the video and i totally forgot about these etb codes so here is the first one here is the second one right there and then here is the third one i'm just gonna go ahead and crumble them instead of just ripping them and then here is the fourth one and i just ripped it after i said i'm gonna stop ripping them but those are the etb codes i still have more and i'll probably give those out towards the end of the video but here is another booster pack of team freaking up we finally got our first our first freaking prism star ladies and gentlemen we got the wondrous labyrinth i'm pretty sure that's how you say the name because i'm not tripping this time i'm pretty sure that's how you say it so check that out guys we got a beautiful prism star and i'm kind of high key proud of myself because we're actually running through these packs a lot quicker than i expected i thought i was gonna be going really really slow in this opening but we are going in a steady pace because right now during this time of the video i'm like 20 minutes into this opening and we're probably halfway if not more than halfway complete with this entire opening so that is absolutely crazy 80 booster packs opened within or less than one hour if you think about it that's kind of crazy and super quick because typically if you open up 80 packs it should take longer if you're not rushing it like me but here is another white code ladies and gentlemen i love seeing them should i do the pack trick let's feel i think it's a hollow so let's just go ahead and run oh my god never mind baby it is a celebi and venusaur full freaking art i'm trying to grab my sleeves towards the side of the setup but here we go we got that celebi and venusaur full freaking art i don't even think i have this one i think i might have had or pulled the secret rare version but now we have another beautiful full art ladies and gentlemen that is absolutely crazy i thought i didn't feel anything when i opened up that pack that's why i thought it was something else but we got another y code oh baby oh baby we got just a regular little dragonite thanks for ruining the suspense dragonite and the streak thank you but so far i'm loving the stack it is getting way way bigger and i just hope to get better pools or equal pools as to i'm opening up two booster boxes that is all i ask for so that's basically at least three to two or three to four secret rares maybe i don't know but we got ourselves another prism and it is a Tapu Coco. That is some clean artwork on that card. And I'm pretty sure this is the first Tapu Coco I've ever pulled because I don't remember pulling a Tapu Coco with an ability. And I'm pretty sure this Tapu Coco might have some sort of value. And why is it so fun to say Tapu Coco? I have no idea why, but it's really fun to say its name. But as I was saying, guys, I forgot what I was saying before we pulled that freaking Coco. So it's all good. We're just going to go ahead and continue the video because that is what we do, y'all. We got a Charizard regular rare. Definitely going to put that to the side because y'all already know them Charizard cards. They deserve that respect, bro. They deserve that honest respect. And not just because there is a first edition Charizard that is worth a ton of money. But the fact that Charizard is such an iconic Pokemon in the Pokemon community, much more respectable. But we got ourselves a Shaman Prism Star, everybody. Check that out. We got the Shay Shay in the Sky form. And I absolutely love Shaman. But I prefer its regular floral form instead of the Sky form. I'm not going to lie. Only because when it's in its hedgehog, you know, floral looking form, it's much more adorable and cute. And then obviously the Sky form is more cool looking. So here is another code for y'all. We go, baby! We got another secret rare! Hold up, hold up. We gotta do, is this it? Yeah, that's it, that's it, okay. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see, I'm hyped, I'm pumped. Let's see. Oh, baby. What do y'all think it is? Let me know in the comments down below. Pause the video and let me know what your guess is. It is none other than a Metal Goggles secret rare, baby! look at that we are getting everything gold bro everything gold in this video hands freaking down check that out should it take down the latios and latias oh my god i kind of feel like it shouldn't get taken down by some metal goggles 
I don't know. The Steel Pokemon, this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks and your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on it. I feel like that might take down Latias and Latios. So let's just go ahead and do it because even though it's not more expensive than Latias and Latios or it might be more expensive. I honestly don't know the value of those metal goggles, but you know Latias has been there for a hot minute. So let's go ahead and let another secret rare get some spotlight, shall we? So we got two packs left from this stack right here. The second stack is finally going to be done. And let's see what we get from this final pack right here, which does feature Venusaur and a Celebi, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and open that up. Oh, baby. Last stack magic. Get it? Because it's the last pack of the second stack. Well, it's not really the last stack, so that doesn't make any sense, Dargle. Alrighty, guys. Here is the code. And let's just go ahead and do four to the front just because it is the last pack from the second stack. And that basically means more than the first pack or the middle pack, whatever the case may be. So we got the Tauros and we got the Cobalion GX. Absolutely beautiful. I love the Swords of Justice. I already told you guys in the past that I love all three of the Swords of Justice, even Keldeo too. So that's technically four, but we're getting this next stack and I'm trying to move the bolt guys. So give me one second. Alrighty guys, I'm ready for the last stack, but before we get into this stack, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the final codes of the ETBs, the team up ETBs. So here is one, here is two, here is three, four, and then the final ETB code is right here, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you guys enjoy those and thank you for watching the videos. Back to the booster packs though, we got a huge stack left for this final stack, bro. So hopefully you guys got snacks, you know, something to eat, sitting somewhere comfortable because this opening is far from over, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm going to say because we got this and then we got this right here. So we got a good amount of packs still left, but it is coming to an end, sadly. I had a lot of fun opening up all these booster packs you know i haven't had a chance to open up this many team up booster packs in one city but we got absol which is actually worth a good amount of money so if you guys pull an absol card from team up just know it is actually very playable and it is used in pokemon tcg decks so let's go ahead and keep it rolling and also <laughs> Alrighty guys, my camera died and I was about to say also with all of you guys redeeming these code cards, let me know what you guys are pulling in the comments down below. Let me know what kind of pools are you guys getting. If you're getting better pools than me on the actual real life pools instead of the TCGO, let me know if they are better pools because I am curious because I just want to know bro, I just want to know. So let's keep it rolling in this next team up booster pack and it is getting hot in here i thought i turned on the ac but somebody probably turned it off not knowing that i'm in my room but okay let's see what we get right here we got the zara aura zara 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 i'm pretty sure it's zara not zara aura because that just sounds weird but i am 100 percent sure it is zara you feel me but let's go ahead and open up this next pack and also guys just know when you're watching this video the Bulbasaur Funko Pop has officially released and I recommend you guys pick one up I hope that y'all pre-ordered one because your boy pre-ordered one and if you guys want to see a picture of that Bulbasaur Funko Pop I will be posting it on my Instagram either yesterday or today when this video releases because obviously I'm recording this video yesterday so I can schedule it for today when you guys are watching but like I said, if you guys didn't cop the Bulbasaur Funko Pop, it is a very adorable pop. And I'm going to collect every single Pokemon Funko Pop that ever releases because it's Pokemon, bro. The only types... Oh my god, are you serious? Another gold secret rare, bro. Another one. Another one. DJ Khaled, let him know, bro. Another one. Another one. Another one. Let's go ahead and stop. Let's stop fooling around and let's see what we get in the back of this pack because 
I'm so surprised to see another gold Pokemon card. So we got the Farfetch'd, and then we got the Electro Charger Secret Rare. And I am so surprised that we are not getting duplicate Secret Rares. Like, they are literally not the same Secret Rares. Every single one that we pulled, they are not the same, bro. But we got the Electro Charger, and I'm pretty sure this Electro Charger is worth more than the Metal Goggles. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the start of the show. And let's continue the opening, bro. Because so far, we got so many Secret Rares, it's been making this opening worth it. Like, if we get another Secret Rare in this video, bro, I am literally gonna go insane. Like, literally gonna go insane. But we got three packs left from this right stack. I divided the final stack into two just so I can make the stack smaller and just so there can be a little bit more suspense, you feel me? You know, as far as the last pack goes. But we got the Pikachu and Zekrom up next. And speaking of Pikachu and Zekrom, we haven't been pulling a lot of that Tag Team GX, even though we always pull a Pikachu and Zekrom GX. But we got the Dangerous Drill and the Gyarados Holographic, everybody. So this is the final pack from the right stack. And let's see, it's a green card. So unfortunately, we only have a chance at getting a Prism, which we didn't. We also had a chance at getting Jirachi, but that didn't happen as well. Alrighty, guys. This right here is the official final stack. Please pray for my pools and hope that we get something crazy within this final stack. Maybe another secret rare or maybe just a couple more ultra rares because we haven't been getting a lot of regular GXs is what I noticed. We got a couple here and there, but we usually been getting a bunch of streak green codes or some holographics and then a secret rare is what's been going on. So here is the next code for you guys right there. And let's see, we got another Lord Helix holographic, everybody. I can't be mad at that because it's Lord Helix, bro. I cannot be mad at Lord Helix. But we're just going to go ahead and leave it at that and continue the opening because we already know that Lord Helix is amazing and it deserves all the respect and it will get all of the respect. Mark my words. But we got ourselves the Alolan Executor and then an Eveltal Holographic. So we are on a holographic streak right now. That actually hurts. I kind of like getting green codes more than a holographic streak. I have no idea why. It's just that when you get hollows, it puts all of the suspense and it makes you sad, bro. When you just get a holographic instead of like a GX card or something along those lines. So here is the next code card for you guys right there. We got another Absol Holographic. Now this one, I can't be mad about. See how my mood changes when we get an amazing card? That is the works of Pokemon cards, you feel me? They are absolutely random, the pools, and the cards are so subjective. I'm not sure if I use that word right, but we're gonna go ahead and keep it rolling with that. But your mood changes when you get something good compared to something bad that's just the way it is and that's just how life is you feel me so let's go ahead and keep opening up packs from this stack and i noticed we have been getting the most green codes from this stack right here this final stack so that is unfortunate but you know you can't complain because we oh my god we got a two for one deal baby we got that two for one deal I repeat, that two-for-one deal that they serve at Chili's. We got the Black Market Prism, followed by a Cobalion GX. Full freaking art, baby. Look at that, bro. Look at that. The full art action is strong in this video. Or at least I think it's strong. But we got another Prism Star of Black Market right there. I cannot even be mad of a two-for-one deal because... That basically means that the opening is successful if you get the two for one deal. But let's go ahead and open up the rest of these packs because, yo boy, I am getting tired. I'm not going to lie. But here is the next code card right there. And let's see. We got the Lycanroc GX. I've only pulled this card once, which is surprising because I feel like this card would be much more easier to pull, honestly. But alrighty, guys, I'll let y'all know when we hit three packs left or maybe five packs because we're kind of like at the 10 pack range or somewhere along those lines i didn't really count all the packs we have left 
But we got the Zapdos Reverse, which is actually very nice. I actually do think in the playable world that reverses are worth more than holographics because reverse cards look more blinged up than your holographic because the hollow is obviously only hollow on the art while the reverse is holographic everywhere outside the art but that pops out more you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and keep the opening rolling with another white coat i love these white coats we got wait oh my god i thought we got a regular rare but we got erica's hospitality reverse or holographic i'm tripping this is not a reverse but check that out guys we got baby girl in the cut which is a holographic i'm kind of glad that they brought back holographic trainer cards because i feel like that's a nice touch you know nowadays because we got so many secret rares full arts all that jazz so it's kind of nice to have a holographic trainer card again but let's see what we get in this white code pack right here guys one of the last packs after this we got three packs left officially so let's see we got the t-tar and we got another incineroar gx we are now hitting the duplicates ladies and gentlemen because this is our second incineroar gx but it's all good because i will take any gx i do not care what it is but like i said these are the final three packs right here as we get a pupitar and which pack should i open up last Venusaur and Celebi, hands down. I'm sorry, Eevee and Snorlax, but if you're a white coat, oh my god, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Because if this is a green code, I gotta save the best for last, you feel me? I'm sorry, Venusaur, but we gotta go with you first, and then we gotta check out that white coat as our final pack. So we got the Psyduck, and now, this is the official final booster pack, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the code card right there. And let's see, let's do the pack trick for this one, because the suspense is really really there now okay let's go ahead and not peek i don't want any cards sticking out okay so we got the fighting energy we got the homie brock i'm not gonna say every single name so i don't know why i'm doing that but okay guys we got the emoga kangaskhan and the final card in this massive pokemon card opening is a moltres holographic it's all good moltres i love you you're still my favorite kanto bird hands down but I was expecting something better and i just realized something all of the kanto legendary birds are in this set why did i just realize that bro but ladies and gentlemen that is the official end of this opening and look at all of these cards that your boy pulled in this single opening we are gonna go ahead and do a quick recap but before we do we're gonna count up how many ultra rares did we pull? Alrighty guys, are you ready to know how many ultras did we pull in this video? I knew I should have went with my first guess because we pulled a total of 20 Pokemon ultras, you know, prisms, full arts, secret rares, regular GXs, all of the above. We pulled a total of 20 from 80 booster packs, ladies and gentlemen. That is not too bad, in my opinion. That is probably the same as opening up two sealed booster boxes. So, all in all, we did not fail within this video. But let's go ahead and do a quick recap since I got all of your attention. And let me know if you got your guess right. Because, like I said, we got a total of 20. Unfortunately, I guessed 15. But like I said, we got all of these prisms. We got five prism stars right here absolutely beautiful and then some of these cards i've never pulled some of these like the hoopa i think i've only pulled that once we did get duplicate incineroars we got the homie mr mime on deck and this gengar was actually my first it was my first time pulling the gengar in mimikyu which is absolutely amazing ladies and gentlemen and then for full arts we got three full arts everybody and pharos celebi and venusaur and then cobalion but the secret rare department is where i am most mostly speechless you feel me because we got three trainer secret rares now the electro charger was the star of the show if you guys didn't know but i couldn't decide the star of the show between all four of these cards and just check out the secret rares that we got we got all these ultras from this opening bro that is absolutely insane everybody absolutely insane and on top of that 
do not forget all of the bulk that we got and then also do not forget you know the playable holographics like zapdos absol basically absol and zapdos were the main ones we were pulling as well as erica's hospitality but then we also got all these hollows in general everybody so if you did enjoy today's video y'all already know the drill bro smash that like button and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch y'all in the next one Peace.